So I've just come out of Leeds and I've been very, very, very naughty. Oh dear. Or is it naughty or has it just been very sensible? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm supposed to be on Ban Island and I might have just put an order in for something. Hi guys, welcome to another video. We're shopping again, of course we are. So yeah, I thought I'll just pop back to Leeds. There was a couple of things in Louis Vuitton that I wanted to have a look at, but yeah, they never have the stock. So fingers crossed they have something to look at. So come with me, we'll see what we can find. Let's get going. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. So I particularly want to go back to Louis Vuitton and just see um, if they've got that side trunk. They just never have it. So I'm just going to go and just going to see if they just happen to have it. So I also want to look at the Speedy, the 20 in the on front leather. They never have that one in either. So I just want to have a look at it because I think it's got, um, I just think it's an easy, really nice little crossbody. So let's go see if we can find it. Putting on the show for everybody. Give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens for slay There's a ring in when December is Where the children are singing, yeah it's Merry Christmas, baby Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying to feed deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that So I've just come out of Leeds and I've been very, very, very naughty. Oh dear. Or is it naughty or has it just been very sensible? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm supposed to be on Ban Island and I might have just put an order in for something. So I managed to go into Louis Vuitton and they had a, an event 
last night and because it was an event that people got invited to they had a lot of stock because they brought it in ready for the event it also meant that there were some pieces there that they wouldn't normally have so i'm back home now and before i talk about my experience in leeds i just want to say the biggest thank you to you guys as of filming this right now i have just hit 500 subscribers which i know is a tiny amount but to me it's huge it's a huge moment and it's not about the numbers i've said this before it's not about the numbers it's about what it signifies and what it means i put myself out here because i needed an outlet i wanted a place where i could be me and i could be free and that's why i set up this channel and you know i've made some wonderful wonderful friends so i'm going to put all their names up here so joe lorna amelia emma pam tiana connor dale meredith you're just all incredible you've all supported me so much and that means so much more than any of the numbers the number doesn't matter what it signifies is how welcomed i've been into this community and how supportive and amazing all these ladies in effect are i suppose in competition with each other but none of us are we all just love watching and supporting each other and that's what makes this amazing we're all putting out really similar content yet we're building each other up and because I've said this before, I said this in another video where I mentioned what it's really like um, starting a YouTube channel. And I'll stick that up here. But what I said in that was, yeah, we're all in competition, but we're not. <laughs> because if we all support and guide and encourage each other, we all grow. We all build something that's really strong and fantastic and powerful. It's like in any business, if you're threatened by other people and threatened by people within your own organisation, it's never going to thrive. Let's thrive together and build something that's really, really wonderful. So enough gushing. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody um, that supported me in this community. And the biggest thanks of all go to you guys for, for watching this and for liking it and for subscribing. I mean... To take the time out of your day to bother to watch somebody like me is mind-blowing. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you do want to subscribe, I'll you know just have a look in the link below. So back to shopping, the most important bit that everybody wants to know about. So I popped into Leeds and I think I said in the vlog that Louis Vuitton never have any stock. They just don't. Um, it's, a really, it's a really amazing stop. It's really tiny. Like I said in the vlog, they had an event last night. They had loads of um, items and pieces in there that they don't normally have. So it was wonderful for me because I got to see so many um, pieces that, that I really wanted to see. And it was really strange because I thought, I'll just pop in. They won't have anything. And they did. So they had the Speedy 20 in on front leather in the black. I think it only comes in black at the moment. And I tried this on in Paris and I didn't take any photos and I couldn't quite remember what it looked like. And I tried this on again and it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. It's a size 20, which is actually quite small, but because it's quite boxy because it's the speedy shape, obviously. It can fit loads in it. And the zips go around the um, corners as well. So it gives access into the bag so much easier. Really, really, really nice. I really liked it. A really nice crossbody. It had... Um, a leather strap with a little bit of a chain so a little bit different to any of the other straps in Louis Vuitton that I've seen anyway so that oh beautiful um black on front leather stunning and I managed to get my hands on a side trunk I've been looking at this bag for months now online obviously it's only just released but it was on the catwalk I think in sort of September time and I had my eye on this and then I've seen it obviously on other people's channels who have managed to get their hands on them so Dale um, from Dale's Addiction she um, she's just unboxed her monogram one and Candy from Candy Sweet Love for LV she's unboxed now I believe it's the monogram one and the tan leather one so you ladies <laughs> got me really interested in it because um, yeah as I say I couldn't see one so it was really nice to see their channels and that's what I love this community for you can go on and see videos of things you just don't get to see um, in real life unless you travel to London or wherever you are um, to one of the bigger stores and even then they don't always have it so yeah so I managed to, to see that however 
I was sort of looking at the leather, I think. I've got so many monogram bags and the last one I bought was um, the Petite Marlin monogram. So I sort of was thinking, I don't need another monogram. Not that we need any of these things. So, um, but it, anyway, they didn't have the leather, but they had the monogram for me to even see the, the size of it, the shape of it, the feel of it, the strap drop, all of that. And, oh, it's just beautiful. And I was really interested interested in the leather. Now, the tan leather, I'm not sure about the colour. It's really, really hard to see um, until you see it in real life, I assume. But on Candy's channel, it looked beautiful. And also on online, it looks beautiful. But I'm just not sure. Um, I'm just not sure. The black looks amazing. Um, and it's got silver, so it makes it really edgy. So I really like that. Um, and I think it's coming out in early January um, in like a champagne gold metallic. And again, that looks interesting, but that's quite... Uh, my essay in LV was telling me that that's quite in your face, quite blingy. So it's a proper statement bag. Anyway, what I did check with him was, because he's seen them all in the flesh, and I did ask him, is the leather the same weight of the bag, the same as monogram? Because obviously one's in leather, one's in canvas. Um so is it any heavier? Is it less slouchy? Is it more structured? What, you know, how does it feel? And he said it's really, really similar. And what he did tell me was that the leather that the side trunk comes in, is called fashion leather on the, um, on the online website. But what he told me is the same leather that they use in a lot of the wallets. And I think it's a lock me bag, that sort of leather. And he got one piece, um, one of the wallets out to show me what the leather felt like so obviously I couldn't see it in the flesh and it is quite a, a softer more pliable leather than the Enpromp for example because I've got a couple of pieces in Enpromp and I absolutely love it but it is quite structured or it can keep some structure so what he said was this other leather is it's made to be a bit slouchier and a bit softer so he said it suits the side trunk really really well so I had a speedy in azure in the 25 and I've been lusting after this bag forever. So currently I have this obsession with this year and I have no idea why, I really, really don't. But anyway, I could have bought it 20 years ago or whenever it came out, but I didn't. And yeah, anyway, they had one in, which they never, ever have them. They're always on the website as notify me when available or, um, so yeah, they actually had one. And then while I was there, we were looking at the um, the actual trunks. Now they had a couple in and they don't normally have trunks in. And yeah, and they had one in that was a watch case. And I would love to buy this surrender. I really, really would. Um, he just wouldn't want it. He would just, I think it'd be so cross if I spent that amount of money on a watch case for him. Because although he would appreciate the, you know, appreciate it. He would rather have a bike. Let's be honest. He would rather have a bike or something to do with cycling. So, um, yeah, I would love to buy him one, but he really wouldn't want one. Um, but they also had other trunks there that were um, more like the jewellery box style ones. I think they're called the... Are they called the Tresor trunks? Anyway, I'll find some um, some footage and some pictures. Of For them. me, I've never bought a trunk because every time I've looked at them, I think I could buy a bag for the same money and that's just going to literally sit as an ornament on a on a vanity unit and something's just stopping me and he said the opposite way around that for him that actually for the same price as a bag you could have an ap absolute piece of heritage and a piece of you know just craftsmanship like explaining that there's um, a Louis Vuitton house so it was where Louis Vuitton lived and made the first trunks and they've kept the house and and Louis Vuitton have, as a company have kept that property and it is still now where the trunks are made. And he he said that there was something like five or six people in this room making trunks and they're the only people in the world to make them. And it's just it was mind blowing. Just to know that little bit of knowledge about the trunks has made me really want one even more. So yeah, you persuaded me on that one, James. And yeah, it's wonderful. You can actually, and I think you've seen this, I did in my Dubai vlog, that you can um, have them painted. I think Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet, I'm pretty sure she's had this on her trunk. And yeah, an artist will come into store and they will paint a design for you that's individual for you on your on your trunk. So 
um, and that's all free of charge. So if you bought any hard sided um, items, so the trunks, some of the, um, the smaller trunks, some of the jewellery boxes, um, not the petite mal. He said that's classed as a bag, so even though it's hard sided, you wouldn't be able to get that done. But any of the trunks or the bigger hard sided uh, luggage, anything like that, even if you bought it already, you can bring it back in and they will do it for you. Um, and James, he also told me some other items, just little snippets of information about Louis Vuitton that I just thought was incredible. And things like, so the Petite Mal there, it has three little red X's on the bottom. Let me so just grab this. So you can see on here it's got the three red X's, three red kisses. And I thought that was just a decorative thing for the for the petite mal. This is the sort of the standard petite mal that's in the monogram with the black leather. And he said no, he said this. He said everything's got a little story behind it. And I just love that. So Louis Vuitton's very first customer came in to collect the items that he had ordered and he had to sign for them and he signed them with three three X's like that. And when the Petite Mal was designed, they looked back through the archives and they found this little snippet of information and they thought it would be lovely just to include it on the on the actual design of the Petite Mal. So I just think that's a really lovely little story. And if you've ever looked at the LV monogram, obviously it's got the LV here. And then it's got the other symbols here. And I believe it's this one as the flower. Um, Louis Vuitton used to send his, his wife flowers. And the flower was always a symbol of good luck. And he always wanted to have a flower with her. Yeah, so and he saw it as a symbol of good luck. So again, um, that's why it was incorporated into the monogram that he designed. And if you then can see in the capucines, and I'll, I'll do some pictures, um, some close-ups, but the capucines then has the, the symbol um, on the little flap that then goes inside. Oh, it can go outside, but it, we generally use it on the inside of the flap um, and it tucks in to keep our valuables in. And that was another little thing from the archives that the designers brought through and said, therefore, you've always got a flower with you wherever you are, and it's all tucked in and ready, and that means it's always with you to bring you luck. So it's just those funny little stories that I just thought were lovely to do with uh, Louis Vuitton. So anyway, yeah. and of course, I couldn't come out with nothing because I've just, yeah, I've been incredibly patient. I have been incredibly patient. Um, as I've mentioned, I've stepped back from my role from my career of 30 years, and therefore, I do have to be incredibly careful now things have changed for me and I'm so much happier but it means I can't spend the money that I used to be able to spend on all these wonderful things so and I'm not saying it's made me appreciate them more because I already appreciated them I already knew how hard I have to work in order to afford any of these things so it's not that I appreciate it more now it just means that I know I have to you know be patient and and save up and and that's the only way I can do it and that is the reality of life isn't it and this is Hopefully this channel is about being real and being um, being honest about those things. I can't afford all these things. I'm an ordinary person who happens to like luxury. So um, anyway, I did order something. So your choices are, was it the Speedy 20 in on point leather in black? Was it the side trunk in whichever variation? Was it one of the absolutely beautiful heritage trunks? Was it the Speedy 25 in Damier Azure? Did I go for something else? They're the options. So please pause and put below what you think I've ordered. And as soon as it's in, I'll be doing my properly first unboxing on this channel since I started the channel. It's my, it'll be my first proper unboxing. So stay tuned. As soon as it arrives, you'll be the first to know. And while we're talking all things Louis Vuitton, if you do want to see my full Louis Vuitton bag collection, I will put it on the screen here. So go and check that one out. And other than that, I'll see you on another one.